everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amina and in today's video I'm doing something really exciting, well I think for me anyway, I am doing my personality test and a couple of you have recommended this to me a while ago and I also did it quite a long time ago, probably like two, three years ago, just out of interest I did it and um, I do not remember where I was. <laughs> so I thought it would be really interesting to find out what kind of personality I have because I'm actually quite intrigued. I think I, think I know what kind of personality I have but it'll be interesting to see what this test says. It's a Myers-Briggs test, um, and essentially this test is an introspective study that looks into how you perceive the world, um, how you respond to, to people, and how you respond um, in society. And it also ha looks at how you make decisions. Now, I don't fully think these tests are reliable, just because from a scientist's perspective anyway, um, as you can imagine, we are going to have so much bias imposed in our answers. I'm going to pick the answer that sounds the best, most likely, even if I'm, even if I think I'm not subconsciously, I'm sure that I am skewing it a little bit. I think it still provides a pretty good insight into what kind of personality you have, and will probably explain the reasons for why you do certain things. So I'm going to go through and do it on my phone, and I'll put on the side over here. Um, my screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Apparently it only takes 12 minutes. I'm quite quick with these type of things so hopefully it'll take me a little bit less time than that. And yeah, so let's get started. I think it'll be really interesting to see what I am. Oh, by the way, if any of you know this personality test thing and can figure out what I am <laughs> before I tell you the answer, then leave it in the comments right now um, and then I'll reveal what I am afterwards. So let's see who, who can get it right. I'm already stuck from question number one. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people yes I agree but then it depends on who the people are so if it's people that I know like let's say it's a family gathering yeah I'll completely agree if it's a random networking event then I don't I'm gonna it's really hard okay let's put it there <laughs> When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. I don't dream that much, to be honest, you know. So disagree, I would say. <laughs> in your opinion, it's okay to step on others to get ahead in life. Ooh, this is a tough one. Um, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. Have I done that? No. But it says, in your opinion, it is sometimes okay, which suggests, what do you think about it? Mm, it, oh, again, it depends. It depends. Do you mean ruining their career and ruining their life? No. Do you mean just getting a heads up be, by being smart about it? Fine. Yeah, go for it. Um, okay, let's just say, agree, kind of agree. <laughs> You're okay focus focusing on your goals? Uh, yeah, I would say only rarely getting excited. Mm, yeah, okay, you know, I strongly agree. I lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. I mean, okay, not that strong. Yeah, I do. It depends. Again, it depends. But when discussions go into like a philosophical, political, religious argument, I'm just like, everyone has different opinions. I'm not here to prove that my opinion is the one that you need to follow. So I don't care. <laughs> Maybe that's... Yeah. Know. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. Yes. Only one person see me cry. That's my husband. And that was like very recently. So yeah, uh, no, I don't care about movies or songs. <laughs> you know exactly what I want. Yes, I do. I know exactly what I want. That's me. Strongly agree. <laughs> no, that I. You rarely think back on the choices you've made and wonder what you could have done differently. No, I always think back on why. That's. I mean, that's how you learn. No. Okay, so I've got my personality type. Oh my gosh, so I am a ESTJ A. I'm executive. Okay, I feel like I got something different last time. I am more extroverted than I am introverted. Interesting. Um, I would agree with that, but I would have thought I was more extroverted. Um, I'm more observant than intuitive. Intuitive. Yes, I think I am. Um, thinking, I definitely, yeah, I, I would have thought it was more than that actually. It says that I think more than I feel uh, when I make 
uh, decisions and cope and how to cope with emotions. And I think I would have been more than that, to be honest. I would have thought I was more thinking because I definitely don't jump on my emotions, um, but jump on my feelings straight away and act upon them. So yeah, but that's pretty accurate, I would say. So executives are representative of tradition and order, utilizing their understanding of what's right, wrong, and socially acceptable to bring families and communities together. Um, the values of honesty, dedication, dignity. They're valued for their clear advice and guidance. Okay, that's basically what I do here on YouTube. Um, and they happily lead their way on difficult paths. They take pride in bringing people together. Um, cool. Strengths are that I'm dedicated, I'm strong-willed, direct and honest, loyal, patient and reliable. I enjoy creating order. That is so me. I'm an excellent organiser. Um, my weakness is I'm inflexible. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm stubborn, but I would say I'm inflexible in the sense that if I've thought that I'm doing something, I don't like to bend that. So, yeah. Judgmental, yeah. You know what? It's hard to say that I am judgmental, but I am. But not in a way that I look at people and say, oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? I have an expectation of the way that I expect um, people to be in the sense that, not that everyone should be the same, but that you should be honest and that you should be on time and that you should be um, organized. Like I feel like those things are things that help people in general. And when I see like disorganized, messy people, it just really bugs me. <laughs> and so I do judge them. Yes, correct. I judge them, <laughs> but not in a bad like not in a bad way. Just I just think in my head. <laughs> Let's see something. Romantic relationships. Okay. okay. So it says that they're unique in that their relationships don't change as they progress from the dating phase into long-term marriage uh, and relationships, etc. And I think I would kind of agree. I mean, I've only been married for like, let's see what it says. I've only been married for two, two years, two and a half-ish years now, but I wouldn't say that we are any different today than we were when we were dating in the sense that we're still as affectionate, as close. We put as much effort into our relationship as we did before. Um, and I feel like I don't feel like there was like a honeymoon phase. I just feel like we've just been the same. And I know it's still early days, and you know, ten years down the line, I'll come back and let you guys know how it's going. But um, yeah, we just we're quite consistent in the things that we do, and we, we haven't really deviated from how we were before, really. Which is which is nice because that's you want what you had to continue. I'm not going to go through all of it because that's yeah, I'm just keeping myself. But that was really interesting. That was super interesting. Uh, let me let me know if you thought that I would be that, if you know anything about personality types, and let me know what that means, because obviously I'm reading this and I'm agreeing, but I'm sure I would agree with other ones as well. So let me know if you genuinely think that I am ESTJ based on um, what you know of me from my YouTube videos and, and whatever. So I'd love to know if and what you are. Let me know what you are as well. I think it's so cool. I'm gonna get my husband to do it as well, and we're gonna talk about it in our next podcast because I think it would be really cool to see what kind of personality type he is. Um, and in our last podcast, actually, we talked about this a little bit. We talked about being extroverted, but then needing downtime. Let me know if you want me to do another test, if there are any other tests out there that can test something else. <laughs> I would love to do another one, um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.